The Sony RX10 4 is a blazingly fast super zoom camera. Sony just announced a pretty substantial performance update to its super zoom camera lineup with the RX10 4. While the new $1,700 RX10 4 doesn't gain any extra range, that's fine. The RX10 3 already tripled the maximum zoom of its predecessor last year. It also has the same fixed f2.44. 24 to 600 mm 25x optical zoom lens with optical image stabilization the big difference here is all about what's inside the camera and how sony is bringing the rx10 in line with the crazy shooting speeds that its other cameras have become known for the rx10 4 in some ways offers the same specs of the rx 100 v in a different form factor it uses the company's stacked one inch 20.1 megapixel Xmara Eskmos sensor, and combines that with the ultra fast Bion's X image processor to allow shooting speeds of up to 24 frames per second with auto focus and auto exposure tracking. The RX10 4 can shoot at that speed for up to 249 images before the buffer is full, too. These are all huge improvements over the RX10 3 which topped out at 14 frames per second and only allowed for autofocus tracking at speeds of up to 5 fps. The size of the RX10 4 means there are a few solid benefits to picking it over the RX100 that go beyond the extra zoom. It has 315 phase detection of points that achieve focus in 0.03 seconds, according to Sony. The 1.44 million dot 3 inch screen on the back is now a touch screen. 2, which is somehow a first for Sony's RX cameras. And there's a 2.35 million dot high contrast LED electronic viewfinder. As for video, the new RX10 falls about square inches line with the capabilities of Sony's other RX cameras. It can shoot 4K video with full pixel readout at 30 or 24 fps, 1080p video at up to 120 fps and has the same high frame rate options as the RX100, like 960 fps at slightly sub HD quality. The camera can also capture in low contrast S log 3 slash S gamut 3 video profiles for more professional style footage. Super zooms aren't for everyone, but they make plenty of sense for people who want something a little more substantial than the compact RX100 without committing to a camera that requires multiple lenses. The price may a little bit higher for the RX10 this time around, but Sony's effort to make the camera as silly fast as its other leading cameras might just make the cost worth it for some when it drops in October.